Ooh. I'm so happy, first of all, because I have your art on my wall. And then I have the artist herself in my house. Yeah, it's nice How's to it see feel? it in here. Because it's so big. <laughs> it's crazy. It, it does look so big in here after painting it. And of course, I love it next to this one. For the little story, it's three of my girlfriends on that wall. Luan, I've known her since I'm 18 years old. Wow. Since she gifts it to me, and uh -huh. then Fong's, I, I kind of seem really like you. I was a fan, and I, sure. we reach out, mm -hmm. and then. Instagram's a lovely it's, thing. It's just, it's so nice that we're able to discover creatives through this avenue. Be able to like have your work out there, even though, even if it's not on a gallery wall. Yeah. You essentially, you're creating your own gallery. Yes, exactly. For everyone to see. So today you are here because we celebrate your painting on the wall. Yes. We wanted to do, we, we shot you in your world. Just that I want to see how you treat your femininity through beauty and mm -hmm. through makeup. I do like that extra just mm. bit of feeling sexy and feminine and it, it really does just give you that little extra boost. Use it for your mood and your wellness. Of course. And I always kind of start with the brows okay. because for me, I feel like it sort of anchors everything else. It does, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things I think you could walk out the house without anything else and just have your brows done. Yeah. After doing this, then I can kind of decide if I want to like, you know, okay. switch it up or do something okay. different. This is a, the Glossier Boy Brow. A lot of people use this. It is a great product. I think what I like about it the most is just like the tiny, tiny little tip. And it's just super easy. I usually go up with my brows. Like I said, I don't have a lot. So what I'm kind of trying to do when I'm working on them is to just create this illusion that I have a lot more. And by kind of feathering them out, I'm kind of able to achieve that. So I sort of put this on first. And then Trish McAvoy in Natural Brunette, just because it's so tiny and you can really kind of create the illusion that you have little tiny hairs. And I just fill in. And I like it because it's light too. I just prefer for my skin tone to have a lighter brow than my hair. And I don't know if there's like a rule about that. The next thing, again, for me to feel like I have the canvas ready to go is the concealer. Before concealer, I usually prep just a little bit because I get really dry under my eyes. And so to prime it, I use this Walita or Waleda. And it also just sort of creates this kind of nice primer, but also it's making it a bit dewy. And I feel like it makes the concealer go on okay. better. It's almost like so an what eye do you cream. Put on your face? Well, it's just to put on a moisturizer. That's like so first, you don't first, put first. The, why don't you put the other one and just use one product for everything? Because I sort of like having different consistencies in different places mm -hmm. on my face. Yeah. Like I need more moisture here and less moisture around here. So yeah. I think it just, yeah, By yeah, dabbing a bit of the more oily stuff in the places I need a little more moisture, it just makes it works sense. for me. I do a concealer. This is the RMS Beauty. The texture is nice, and I feel like their colors are just like super natural, and they're really blendable, which I think is helpful. I've used a lot of different ones, and again, Great some are just too thick, some aren't thick enough, they don't cover enough. But this one seems to just have the right amount. And this one's really close to my skin tone. And after this, I'll show you, I usually put on um, something that's a bit lighter, just under the eye, because I feel like it kind of pops everything out. And then I put it on the top too, to kind of be a primer, but also kind of blend out the imperfections. Then I get a lot of redness around my nose. So I put that around. Can I touch up? Just yeah, help here. me. <laughs> Because usually when you do makeup with a tiny mirror, there's always a piece yeah, of that you, course. you don't see that needs to be blended. Of course. And of course, I use a, a brush, but I'm always going over things afterwards with my finger. Okay. After I do the concealer, I'll kind of just put on a little bit of bronzer, and I just go all the way around kind of in a... I learned this from some makeup artists along the way, and she kind of went in a... I think she said it was like a three. Mm -hmm. And then underneath to kind of highlight under the chin as well. And it just takes a little of that oiliness out that you're getting from all the priming. Mm -hmm. So then the lighter color I'll just of the concealer, I just put a tiny bit of that under my eye just because I feel like it sort of pops it out just a little bit. And then next I go for the eyes. Like, like peachy and there's like these copper colors. And Beautiful. my favorite one, as you can see, is this one kind of peachy but almost skin color so then i just i sort of start in the middle and just kind of build it out i do kind of a nude and then i take this brush which i've discovered that is really great for just kind of like a liner mm -hmm. situation and usually mm -hmm. i'll wet it and i'll just kind of do this 
and I'll use a pencil sometimes, but I like to line my eyes with a shadow. I just feel like it tends to look more natural, especially for a daytime thing. I really think I'm just following the shape of my eye. But if you wanted to create like a cat eye or something, you'd have to connect it like up here where that mm -hmm. crease happens instead of down there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And it's That's a good advice. Yeah. It's kind of so you kind of use the same color because that's the thing with you. What mm -hmm. I love is like your whole Instagram and your whole website is a color move. Tones yeah. of nudes, I think it's just like when I'm stuck on something, it just okay. carries through. It keeps going. I feel you. You know? So it's you do like the same you with your makeup. Yeah. And I like to experiment. And I like to experiment with my work and I like to experiment with my face. Yeah. But I always end up going back to the same stuff. Yeah. And I think that's just, there's it's nothing wrong good. with that. It's good. I no. think, yeah, when you've like discovered that about yourself, it's almost like you just discovered who you are. Yeah. You, know, you, you yeah. know who you are in a lot of ways. I'll just do the mascara. If I don't want to look so made up, sometimes I'll just put it on the edges. Okay. And so, again, like with like a more almond shaped eye, it just, I feel, creates a more natural kind of look okay. that way. But today, I'm going to do it just because I feel like it. This is the Trish, Trish McAvoy. Okay. And I love this oh, one nice. because I, again, it took me forever to discover the best one for me for some reason. But this one is almost like a, when it dries, it almost is kind of rubbery and there, it does not fall uh, down at all. Yes. I, Whatever I the know. formula is, it it's, has like a rubbery and so kind so you of, don't even need a makeup remover, you just need water and you will Yeah, it out. and it comes up, yes. it almost comes off like, it's like sticky, yeah, like so gummy. kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good advice because many people ask me, my mascara is always running on my cheeks. Yeah, what do no, I do this will this? not do that. It's a milk uh, makeup mm -hmm. highlighter. And just to kind of give this a little on the cheekbone. And then this is kind of funny, but I use lipstick for blush a lot. Why blush even exists? Like what, it's yeah, to me, it's the same thing. This one's new, I love this color. It's a Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Bitch Perfect. Oh. There you go. And I just sort of blot it on and then get a nice little natural. We're just going for glowy all the time. Glowy, oh, yeah. and, youth glowy and youthful. And what? Youthful. Youthful. Yeah. Okay, so just do that. And then for lip, I'm usually doing a, a lip liner first. This is one, obviously, it's getting low. It's my favorite. Bobbi Brown Ballet Pink, yeah. and I think it looks good on so many different skin tones. I overline my lips a little bit, but not too much because I don't like the overly lined look. Mm -hmm. Natural, but highlighting what you've got. Yeah, the color is nice for you. It's like your lip color, but uh, yeah, a bit stronger. Just a little yeah, punched it's like up. You look like your paintings. It's exactly <laughs> your colors, tender and strong. Thank you. Yeah, it's like you're painting. And I mess it up a little bit. Blur lips like mm -hmm. this, I call this a French kiss yeah. lips. Mm -hmm. Last step for the lip is just to put what I put on my cheeks, kind of right there at the top, a little at the bottom, and just sort of smoothing it all out. I'm not going to change what you do yeah. because it's you and it looks great. It's more like maybe I'll do a night version of what you're mm -hmm. doing. Okay. I'm kind of curious to try another thing for your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. I'm really doing an experiment because mm -hmm. I might be like, you know what, actually your technique is better. <laughs> With an way. eyebrow, do you usually like it where it looks a little feathered or are you more like... No, I like feathered. You like feathered, yeah. I like boyish. Design the shape however we want. Yeah. We're just designing yeah, exactly. the face. Designing the face. <laughs> I'm trying a few. This is uh, what I want to try with a new foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think the only thing I made them a bit more, less blurry, I mm -hmm. guess, but more, how would you say, hairy. It's just that it's a mm -hmm. bit more concentrated. Yeah, it's less of like a full shape. Yes, and it's like you make it bigger, which I think mm -hmm. makes them less strong in a way. I will respect more your shape. Right. Focus on keeping that size, mm -hmm. and make them fuller by doing okay. like one by one, sure. one by one. Mm -hmm. And then you can add your little pencil that I used and just to bring a little shadow on top of it so mm -hmm. it doesn't look so like tattooed. Totally. I like the way you do your skin. Mm -hmm. So it's just because I'm curious to try another technique with you. I'm gonna keep your lips. I mean, it's obviously it's great for the winter. I can see your skin see is what happy. I mean? You do need to do like this. Yeah, press it in instead yeah. of like rubbing just it. 
And then use this uh, Shiseido New Foundation, Sink or Skin, Self Refreshing. Okay. <laughs> so I think with the brush it's good because I'm really gonna make sure it's just a veil. Sure. With a beauty blender, I'm gonna pad, and what's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have too much products. Like you, like such bright eyes and light skin. Mm -hmm. You don't want it too much wash out your face with sure. concealer and so having a little overall veil might be good because then your features are still there right and for your skin texture it's also better i don't put on the nose foundation never never i don't either i put around the nose yeah exactly but around. on top i think it looks weird oh yeah wow it is yeah you see how your skin is glowing mm -hmm. just sort of like did you go up here? Yeah. No. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Only a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sometimes even just like some of this redness, I still keep it. No, but I love that. That's a good that's a good so color. So apply it all over. Okay, just keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Did you go What do you do about the lips? Just what you did is perfect. Just a little swoop yeah. sweep. Cuz I think if you go too heavy there, it looks weird. Yeah. It's like Yeah. So the texture feels the same everywhere. Mhm. Mm yeah, I love yeah, it looks this better than what I did. <laughs> well, no, it's just like we're trying, we're trying. Okay, now I want to try this blush that it feels like a lipstick, so it's the same. It's gonna go above between like here and here. Mm -hmm. You're just like above the cheekbone. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is like without adding foundation with your brush, you can just mm -hmm. clean here. So, you know, I don't look do contouring, we're just gonna give you this little right. structure, because you have amazing cheekbones. So if you put too much here, we forget your right, cheekbones. Right, of course. Mm -hmm. So by doing the, this here. Ooh, yeah, it's so light. It's very it just light. It's so very natural. Very light like, mm -hmm. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take your skin food again. Okay. Just as a highlighter. I'm gonna keep it mm -hmm. bow, chin. Nice, yeah. So then I, I want to teach you one thing, is how to create a strong lash line. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go inside your lash line, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna color. Usually, I feel like if I go on top, it just looks like there's you can see a line. Yeah, you can see a line. And it Here you look cannot natural. see. Go Underneath or between the roots, I'm trying to color the roots. And I think it's hard to find a pencil too. Yeah, this you one can't is really very get a lot of yeah pigment. pigment. Yeah, I want to add kind a bit more. Got the idea. You got the idea. Okay, perfect. So that's the base when you do mm -hmm. your eyes brown. Mm -hmm. and you apply this on top of what you have because anyway, mm -hmm. it's almost like helping me as a base. Which sure. Is good. But I'm never doing like this. Right. So always the same way. I kind of dab and flick just yeah, a little exactly. bit. Yeah, exactly. It's really like the best beauty, beauty tool. It is. Okay, so that's the base. You can use this maybe to okay. pick. Oh, wow, yellow is a pretty color. So it's more here, mm -hmm. and it kind of goes that way, you right. see? Right. So when you do it, I'm going to show you on the other eye. Well, this one I want you to see. Right. Like, really? So okay, First, I'm going around, around the oh, yeah. lash line like this. Mm -hmm. Then here, I kind of like already set up the shape, you know, mm -hmm. like this, with my finger, and slowly, slowly, then you can add a bit more here, mm -hmm. and make sure it's blended. Something that's strong on the, on the lash line and then mm -hmm. slowly disappeared, so it's kind of take the I did more in the inside because you use right. something darker. Mm -hmm. So that's going to open your eye without looking like you put tons Right, of too heavy. Up. Yeah, because that's mm -hmm. how I always feel when I have a darker color on. Not doing a liner or something really sharp. Sure. I'm using a dark color, but then I'm blending it so it's mm -hmm. much softer. Right. And we're going to do this out. on the bottom. So I'm not adding more product because mm -hmm. there is enough. giving you like this very those very big eyes right it looks really nice mm -hmm. for you it makes you color like and that's something that so I don't much. normally do either is yeah, put anything under because I'm like oh it just feels heavy but I but guess it doesn't it, appear that way especially when you do a smoky eye you need to have something mm -hmm. on the bottom okay so I'm gonna use this color now okay 
tell you can almost make it like a creamy and use it in the center so I just go on where I feel the volume on your eyeball yeah, it looks so nice on you you know the cream is good if you're like you can totally rock this kind of color okay open this is great I'm gonna try to have this color just in the center just to give a little mm -hmm. highlight I'm gonna use something to highlight the inner corner. So I mixed a pink and a champagne metallic color. So you know, you can use your eyeshadow as a highlighter. You don't need to wear another product here as well. On the cupid's bow. You look amazing! How fun! I love having something that I just don't ever normally do. Love it. You, cool. You look. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You. So I'll just be doing this every day. Yeah, no, probably not. You but. can use your face as a way to express mm -hmm. your creativity. That's as so well. true. That's so true. Well, I hope you go out tonight. Now I'm going to have to. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. It mm -hmm. will not move. If it creases, which can happen, it's mm -hmm. fine. Huh? I, what I like to do is I put a bit of the cream on my finger mm -hmm. again, and I'm you know, just blur it out a little bit. Blur it out exactly, mm -hmm. and basically the the eye comes in back. Well, actually, you did yes. this. Yeah, so I'm always working on some type of collaboration with other brands. Mm -hmm. I just love the opportunity to be able to get together with another creative and, you know, they see my work, they know their work, and somehow we okay. find this way to yeah. put the two together yeah. and create something beautiful. Like and that's kind of what we did with this is a jewelry brand out of LA. It's called Hottie Chai, is the name of the brand. And we did. You designed it. I designed it. So it's funny because at first I was going to, well, I just drew it. Like I'm, you know, I draw, I paint, I sketch, and I drew it, and I, they actually were going to have me make the piece out of, sometimes I do like these wax kind of mm -hmm. molds and castings, and I tried to do it, and I just realized quickly that I'm not so much of a sculptor, <laughs> I guess, per se, so you sort of find your yeah. strengths and weaknesses throughout these processes, too. It's heavy, it's I nice, yeah, it's, and that was one thing that was really important to me. On the back of the ring, it'll have like one of... <gasps> 25. Really? I yeah. love this. Yeah, so basically it'll be engraved in it. It'll also be limited edition, so it's like if you were to do a, an art print, so you know, at the end of the day, like there's only going to be 25 of them, which I oh, think is kind God, of fun and so special. special. I can't, I'm like dying for this. You look Thank perfect. Thank you so much. I'm